Holy Spirit of God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just as I was waking up today, the Holy Spirit was talking to me. I felt like it was definitely the Holy Spirit. Anyway, I was told to share a dream that a friend of mine, Brother Armando, sent me a long time ago. Well, it's been months now. He sent me a dream he had about Marcus Rogers. And I didn't share it at the time because I didn't feel led to share it. And I was waiting on the unction of the Lord. And besides, I had already revealed that the Lord revealed to me that he was false. He's on my false prophet, false leader, false minister list. So I didn't see the point in talking about it again. But as I was waking up right now, I was told that for every soul that continues to listen to him, when I could have warned them again that I was responsible for these souls, if I don't post that brother's dream, I said, oh boy. So I responded back and was thinking I'm going to make a community post. And then I was shown a flash vision of a video and I was shown to make the video so I'm just waking up right now but this will probably be the intro of that video and then I'll share brother Armando's dream that he had and then I plan to also talk about some things that the Lord revealed to me and why he's on that list because the Lord revealed to me several things about him for one I know for a fact that he did not have a full cross I know that for a fact. That's not a dream. That's not a vision. It's hard to explain. I can't go into it too much, but I know for a fact he didn't have a full cross. Anyway, I'm going to get that video done right away. So the next thing you should hear is Brother Armando's dream. Heads up. I had a dream about Marcus Rogers two years ago. In the dream, I saw him in a church. There was a stage performance, and he was on stage getting ready to speak. I was either a security guard or an usher, I could not tell which. Something felt off. As soon as the music and praise started, people in the front row fell to their knees and started praising Jesus our Lord, but they were few. I could hear the hearts and thoughts of most people in the congregation. Most attendees were saying, look at those people fall to their knees and sing, almost as if they hated them, even though they professed Jesus as their Lord. I heard how most of the people under Marcus Rogers' ministry said things in their hearts and mind that the people who truly loved the Lord would be appalled by. Not long after listening to people's hearts and thoughts, a man came up to me and said, Excuse me, I have to go to the restroom, because he was bleeding out. As I looked at him, I noticed him bleeding from his mouth, ears, eyes, and nose. I also noticed that most of Marcus Rogers' congregation, mockers, started bleeding from their mouth, ears, eyes, and nose. I don't follow Marcus Rogers anymore. I saw it as something is wrong if a person is too popular. I used to follow Marcus Rogers, he has half-truths and is divorced. The Lord said when you are famous, something is wrong. I agree with that scripture because snake bites come out when I speak the truth. I have never been popular and don't care to be. I only care that Jesus is praised, lifted up, and surrounded in glory. To me, The focus of the dream was on those who truly worship God versus those who don't but instead mock and scoff at others because of their love for the Lord. The majority of the focus was on those in attendance, almost a blood hemorrhage was coming out of them. And since people were bleeding, I perceived Marcus had no power, and people were wasting their time being under his ministry. I also feel that the dream showed me that people following Marcus's ministry will get a swift judgment from God. Very few people in attendance really loved the Lord, and perhaps they are under his ministry because they are deceived? That was the only dream I have had of Marcus, I don't listen to him anymore. As I was cleaning the backyard, I perceived that I needed to warn those who are blind to come out of Babylon. If the Lord leads you, use this dream the Lord gave me. Amen Shabbat Shalom God bless you and love you as my sister in Christ. Your brother Armando and family. Okay, praise be to God, that was brother Armando's dream, and I also want to add that I have also had at least one dream I know about him as well. And in the dream, the Lord was telling me that he was a false prophet. And it wasn't just him. It was another lady who I already exposed as a false prophet. I don't want to get this video. How can I say it? I don't know if I want to mention two false prophets in the same video. But 
I've done videos about this other lady already and she is on my false prophet list. Her name starts with a K and for lack of confusion, that's the only reason I don't want to mention her right now because I want the focus to be on Marcus Rogers. But in that dream, it was telling me how both of them were false prophets. But that lady whose name starts with a K, God help us, Jesus. I've had so many dreams about that woman. I had to pray to God and beg him, please stop giving me dreams about that woman. But so many people are misled by these false prophets. I'll put the videos that I had about her in the description box. I did not say her name in those videos, but there was a time in my life I fasted. I believe it was four days, no food and no water. And I was really praying and seeking God for a word for the church. And to my utter shock and amazement, I was given dream after dream, night after night about this woman. And I was shown that she looks like a prophet. She talks like a prophet, like she sounds like us. But I was shown multiple times that everything that comes out of her mouth is garbage. I even had a angel come to me and show me things about her. And when I posted that, I think I only had like four dreams about her during that fasting period of, of my life. And then I had multiple dreams even after that about her. And I, I literally had to ask God, I don't want to see any more of stuff about this woman. Like <laughs> she's false. And Marcus Rogers is false. And I know that he has a huge following. I don't watch any of his videos. I don't listen to anything he says. I don't know what he's doing. I don't even know if he's still on YouTube. Honestly, I don't know. I don't follow the guy at all, but I know of him. I have watched his videos years ago. I did follow him a little bit and the Lord immediately started letting me know that he was a wolf in sheep's clothing. And for my remembrance, I remember him saying a lot of things that will get true believers like myself going, woo, you know, this is great. This is a great video. And actually, I think I even shared some of his videos in the past, like in community posts many years ago. I might have took them down now. But yeah, you know, that's how false prophets are. They will release stuff that is really good. That'll get you jumping up and down. And then it's that leaven, that little bit of leaven that leavens the whole lump. And I'm telling you what God showed me about that man is that he is lukewarm. I was shown that in a dream. He is lukewarm that he was false. He is not of God and that he is leading his people astray. It's similar to what he showed brother Armando. I was shown that he is leading his congregation to not be ready for the coming of the Lord. That is what the Lord showed me about his ministry, that he is leading them to not being truly ready. I do recall from just videos that was circulating, even though I wasn't on his channel, that he was a Trump supporter and things of this nature. And I think he had a prophecy that Trump was going to win. And that prophecy fell to the ground. Because sometimes the Lord will allow me to see something. To know something about someone. Because you know moments like this. And he knows that he's going to prompt me to make a video. Yeah I, I did see that his prophecy fell to the ground. And the Lord literally warns us to beware of people like that. Okay. And it's so many of you guys. I was telling my daughter. Today, when I had this dream, I woke up. You guys got to understand, I woke up with the fear of God on me because God, well, his exact words to me. You want to know what he told me this morning? Ladies and gentlemen, you want to know what he told me? He said that if you do not release that dream that Brother Armando sent you, then everyone that continues to listen to him when you refuse to warn them will be on your head. That is what he told me. He said it will be on your head. And let me tell you something. Today is Sabbath. Yesterday I was really worshiping and praying to God for a word for the church. You guys, I was shocked that this is what God gave me. I'm sitting here thinking I'm gonna have one of those beautiful moments when I'm with God. You know, we're going to be on a beach somewhere. It's going to be so nice. Oh no, 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 no. I was sharply reprimanded by God. So that's why I'm releasing this video. <laughs> as soon as possible. Like I got up, I ate, I got ready for the day. And I was like, I got to hurry up and get that video out. And it'll probably be late in the day by the time I finish um, with everything. But yeah, I was like, I got to get this out now. Cause God was very stern with me about that. And I had a dream a long time ago and God showed me this giant snake. If I can find it, I'll put that dream in the description box. It was a giant, huge snake. And he showed me just a slither of false prophets. And he told me that the false prophets that I even knew of, 
he showed me in that dream and told me that it is just a tiny little slither compared to this giant snake and so many of them, so many of them that I'm not even aware of so many. And I've released lists and everything. And he was showing me that that list that I have is so incomplete. It is so incomplete. It is so many of them. You have to look at their lifestyle. You have to see where this person is leading you. And you know that if you are in the world and you are listening to these ministers and they're not challenging you to get right with God, you're not growing in Christ and something is wrong. If you're just sitting there being entertained, you know, listening to stuff about the latest headlines and all this kind of stuff, you're being entertained. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Look at your lifestyle. Seriously, look at your lifestyle and see where you are in Christ as you listen to these people. If you listen to a minister and it, that minister does not urge you to get stronger and closer to Christ, if you don't feel convicted about your sin, if you are, you know, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, you the same, same sin, same problem, same masturbation, same pornography, whatever your sin may be. And you still listening to this person and you just laughing with them and just having a good time, a good old, good old boy time, huh? There's something wrong. And I have to say it that way because some people cannot spot the leaven. I can go on and on about the leaven, but I'm going to cut this video short about different ways to catch the leaven. I've done these videos many times for years, you guys, for years. I've talked about the leaven, how to spot the leaven. But if you cannot just look at your lifestyle, you should see it that way. Look at their lifestyle. Amen. Look at their lifestyle. You can't ignore the leaven. You cannot ignore the leaven. Jesus taught us himself only a little leaven leavens the whole lump. That little bit of leaven. Well, hell, you headed straight to hell. This is not a game. Now, some people, they're goofy. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest. A lot of people are goofy. A lot of sinners are very goofy. They think everything is funny. They think it's all a game. We all playing games. It's all, it's a big joke. They're goofy. And to them, it's hard for them to understand and perceive because the carnal mind cannot perceive the things of God. So I pray right now that this word will penetrate them in Jesus name as they hear this, that it will go past the goofiness and that they will hear this into their heart, their mind, their soul, because this is not a game. You need to understand that if you continue to follow these false prophets, false ministers, false representations of the gospel, you are headed to hell for eternity. This is not a game. That is where they're leading you. Ministers are leading you somewhere. Understand that they're leading you somewhere. And if they're not leading you to the highest parts of heaven, where God, the father is, you headed straight to hell. You, they leading you in the wrong direction. Let's put it that way. They leading you in the wrong direction and leading you to hell. That is what they're doing. God bless you all. Bye.